Hey, hey, I'm Tony Laurent, CEO of Muscle and Bone NYC. Create your life. Crea la tua vita. Create your life. And skip your liver. You better create your life. My daily schedule, wake up at 6 o'clock every single morning, I go over my goals, I go over my purpose. My purpose is very important that I read it out loud. I go into a corner, I read it out loud, and I say to myself, 10 times at least, success. I say the word success out loud enough so that I try to develop, build up some emotion. Sometimes I'll have tears well up in my eyes. When I've done that, I know I'm ready to perform my day. 7 o'clock, I have my first client. I walk over to the gym. Nice brisk walk, build up the heart rate, put it on them, have them do their warm-ups, run them through the session. At the end of that session, I go to my next session at 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock, it's back to the same thing, warm-ups, put the session on them, cool down. Next client at 9 o'clock. From 10 o'clock until 11.30, I train. I'll do some bag work, I'll do some shadow boxing, I'll do a lot of calisthenics and some medium, light to medium weight lifting to keep the endurance and the... Uh, muscles nice and tight. Uh, at noon I'll go have some lunch and then at 1 o'clock I'll start doing administrative things. From 1 o'clock until 3 o'clock I'm planning the next day, I'm planning the next week, I'm trying to figure out long-term strategies. That's my whole time in my administrative thinking, my administrative planning. 4 o'clock hits, I'm back on. Client number 3 for the day, client number 4 for the day. 4 o'clock, same thing, client number 4 five for five o'clock, client number six at six o'clock, sometimes I have a seven o'clock, by eight o'clock I am back home and I recap my day, I look over what everybody did, I try to figure out where their imbalances are, I try to figure out what needs to be done to tighten up the loose muscles, what needs to be done to loosen the, the tight, strong, uh, hypertonic muscles, and then I go back to my goals, look at my purpose, and I go back to my corner, and I say success ten times, try to get that emotional build up going again and then I try to shut it down watch a little TV and crash a day well spent my defining moment number one was when I was in my house and I was 24 years old and I had gotten a check from the IRS of I think it was hundred fifty four dollars and thirty two cents and that was just enough money to pay the electric bill for that previous month and I said to myself, never again. I've been going through this for months, scraping and scrimping to make ends meet. I said to myself, never again. And I got an opportunity to learn how to trade at a company in Detroit. I moved to Detroit, having no guaranteed income, no nothing. But I made a decision that I would never be in that position ever again. Made the most of that opportunity. They paid me $1,000 a month. And for me at that time, that was a whole lot of money. It allowed me to pay my bills, it allowed me to live my life, and it allowed me to learn how to trade. It allowed me the opportunity to grow, prosper, down the line. Opportunity moment number two, defining moment number two, was when I learned the difference of trading emotionally versus trading properly. Making my own decisions at the right time, when to pull the trigger, when to get into trades, when to get out of trades, made a huge difference to my sense of confidence and to my bottom line, to my bank account. Defining number three, defining moment number three came about when I realized that I wasn't all about money. Money was not my reason for existing. I'm a coach. My job is to give, to try to bring the best out of people. That's where I know I live and that's where I'm happiest, when I'm pulling the best out of somebody. Those are my defining moments. The way I stay motivated is by understanding that the whole thing is a journey. It's never an arrival. There's never a time where you arrive at some place. So you have to be very, very specific about where you place your goals. If you set yourself up with goals that are too easily attainable, when you achieve them, there's not much more to go unless you have something else that you've put out there that's a little further beyond. So you have to make sure that you have these goals that keep you actively engaged in whatever your process is, whatever you're trying to do. Um, one of the things that I love to do is what I mentioned before, and that is waking up in the morning saying success out loud so I can feel it in myself. It gives me an emotional reaction. I know I'm ready to start my day. 
same thing when I get home. I'm closing out the night, getting ready to wake up fresh for the next morning, go in that same corner, I say success out loud. But with that emotional, shut it down. The way I decide who I answer the phone for, people who are worth my time, clients are always critical. And the clients who I bring on actually, people who I find some kind of way they motivate me to push them further. And that pushes me to become an even better trainer, an even better coach. I also pick up the phone for my good friends who bring value to my life. I don't just have friends because they've been in my life for a long time. They actually bring value to my life. They bring something to the table, some kind of emotional bolstering at a time when I'm feeling down, or they'll recall stories that I might need to hear to light me up, or they'll give me some stories about times where I was able to overcome something very, very challenging. People who add things, tangible things that make me a better person or who I answer the phone for, who I keep in my circle all the time. Beautiful people, I'm Kevin Y. Brown, the host of the Create Your Life series, and thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this short segment, then you'll love the full interview. So please listen and subscribe to our podcast on iTunes and on our website at CYLseries.com.